Hey guys, Devon Rallo here, and we are playing some Knights of the Old Republic, light side. So, um, where I last left it off, we had just settled the Sandro Matale dispute, and now we are dealing with some Mandalorian Raiders. Yes, I know you guys might have been hoping that I'd be off Dantooine by now. But I'll quickly do this, and then I'll immediately go to Tatooine. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've killed some of the Mandalorian Raiders. They won't stop until the, I've defeated their leader, so I must find him and kill him too. I'll come back if I find their leader. Okay, so I don't know where to find the leader, so I'm going to quickly check it out. I've never done this quest before, which is why I want to do it. Okay, so it seems they're in the Grove area. Uh, I'll be right back when I get there. Okay, it seems like they're the Mandalorians. I need to kill. Yep, that. There's a Mandalorian of different color there. So I'm guessing he's the one that needs to be taken down. Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Fucking hell. They weren't kidding when they said he was strong. Okay, so. Get my health back up. T3 and Basler seem to be fine now. Oh, Bachelor's now dead. <laughs> Just what I needed. Um... Uh. Useful items. That's my pack. How's T3 doing? He's doing fine. Um... Just gonna equip his energy shield. Ah, I beat the leader. Oh, sweet, he had some lightsabers on him. Well, I did say he was taking them for his collection, so... It's understandable that he would have some. Uh, nice. And the Vipine Calm Cardio Regulator. What does that even do? I've got a normal Cardio Regulator, so... Oh, it just gives more fortitude. Good. Um, any other remains? Yes, there are. That seems to be it. Ok, 
Okay. I will be back once I get to the. Oh. I will be back once I get to the Jedi Temple. And we are back. Ambassador has even more on her mind. How can I help? I do. How did you know? Well, your face is so scrunched up like a Kinroth pump. Pop. A, a Kinroth pup. It most certainly is not. <laughs> I am a Jedi. Remember, I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. Are you sure about that? Hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel. I mean, whatever I think about you. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. That is you. Why must you be so impossibly <laughs> infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. I'll be fine. What do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must I will. All resist the influence My dark side run I want. <laughs> everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I will try. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult even with the best of intentions. There is great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Won't do anything to hurt you. Or I could say it works both ways. It help me stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. So I'm gonna quickly check what the new lightsaber crystal we got is. Now that I think about it, we've got a workbench on the ship. Yeah, those don't have crystal. I want the enhancement crystals. Ah, to be honest, I think I'll have that on mine. You can have Bondar. Yeah. So we're off to Tatooine now. How do you know the council gave me a mission? Actually, soon. Hmm. Great deductions, are you? Yes, I'm, I've got a cover. It's cold. I am, alright. 
Jumalita ku totun. Cila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulira. Ka chikun ida hodom. It could be more dangerous than the surf. Stak miki grabul moko. Ka chichu ita modunga. Dolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Polisha punga mola wana chikne. What makes this creature so dangerous? That does sound pretty powerful. Sounds like they're extinct. <laughs> Mulerabes, Tong Haitwam Chichi Jum Lumpa, Nita Poe Tikito, Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gandona Chuchut, Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga, Yumalita Kuto Dun, Chila Mulane Nindu Bobo. Great Hunt, what's that? Chikun Ita Hodonga, Yikin Kuno Ba Mulera Chikun, Stimo Podona. So the Jedi just killed these creatures. Ikinkunobamulerachikunstimopodonarundiotungaku Okay, work of Kalan attack. What a yuma wama huhu nandaktik a shotung ni patoga. Damn. What a kuspe ka chikun ida hodonga. Yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Stimo podona rudio dunga ku hunkabe. Thanks for the careful. Chikun ida hodonga. Yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Okay then. Which one needed to hear about? Go ahead. Unless it shouldn't happen anymore. I have no idea who you're I forgot to go talk to John. We'll be right back. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him. I did. Him too. I fought and killed that leader. Thank you, young master. 
My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Thank you, John. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Yay, a thousand credits. How many does that make? Because I know I'm going to need about, like, uh, 3,000, most likely, for um, something on Tatooine. So I'm trying to save up. Jesus Christ, I'm going insane. Now let's see map for the Ebon Hawk. When you're ready to leave dead when you can use the galaxy map to travel to other planets. I want to talk to Basila first. I, speak I, did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true that you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. But killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission for. was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. True, I suppose. And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected to all of us Revan's end was unforeseen as I said we were there to capture Revan alive the Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners no one deserves execution no matter what their crimes remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi yeah Humans they were in every sense of the word they demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all I'm sorry we really shouldn't speak of this anymore the memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful let's return to the mission please how can I help? Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity given the bond that connects us. Yep. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the I Jedi. I was found then. to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Discouraged. Why? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. You aren't allowed to love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Who weren't you on good terms with? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. Have you tried to get in touch with your father again? The child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. I'm very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. 
But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. How can I help? Okay, can I can't I talk to her anymore. You? Okay. Uh, where's... Oh, there's Jahani. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. You thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Don't worry, Johanny. I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone I need to, so let's get to Tatooine. Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malik. He served under me hmm. when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malik. Yes, Kalo Nord. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malik. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Hmm. I wonder what he could mean. has given us a, a vision like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see? Yes. It? Of course. We must. The force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. 
Looks like she was in some kind of cave. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Mm-hmm. How can I help? You wish to talk to me. I do. I've been watching you. Studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I think we both know the real reason you've been watching you me. You never give up, do you? I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome <gasps> command of force. And I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. Oof. I make you tremble. Do you get all tingly inside too? <laughs> what? Not, not like that anyway. In many ways, you are, you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy, <laughs> or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, or temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Damn. You seem to know temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway mm. to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? I couldn't see myself ever doing such things. Sorry, just. I think that's better. Yeah, there we go. I can see myself ever doing that such things. That's why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. We have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened. So we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side. Even when the battle becomes wearying. Do whatever is required to I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When mm. the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. How can I help? Then I suggest. Doesn't we feel like talking anymore. Well, I'm bringing her along. What do you mean? Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know I did. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Uh, comment if you have anything to comment. Subscribe. Click that bell to stay updated with notifications. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.